going to show you how to get your kids logged into your Seesaw classroom um, on their iPad. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go down here and say get class code. And when you do that, you can print off this QR code if you want, or you could um, leave it on your desktop for them to scan. But if you want to print that off for them to scan, um, you can just click print, and then it'll come up in a print screen that you can print the instructions and get your QR code right there, <clears throat> and the instructions as well. But I'm just going to go back here because I'm going to use this um, QR code on my device. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do on the iPad that your kids are going to use, you're going to want to go to the App Store and get the Class Seesaw app. And once you get that downloaded, when the students open the Seesaw Class app, they're going to select that I am a student. And then they're going to take their um, iPad and they're going to scan the QR code that you printed off and then it will take them right into the classroom app and so then as you can see your class should show up at the top and then you'll see all the options to get in and do all of the work in Seesaw. So if you want them to add a photo they just type um, tap add a photo <coughs> and take a photo um, then they can annotate on top of it or record on top of it, put text on top of it, any of those things. Um, but when they're in that class app, so let's say, for instance, if I write something on top, and I'm ready to save that, so then when they push the check mark to save that, it's going to ask them which student they are, so then they can select the student that they are, and then the green check mark, and then it will send a message to the teacher to, um, that there is a new post. And it will not post to the class feed until it is accepted by the teacher. It's good practice when the students are done posting that you teach them to go ahead and touch the plus sign up in the right corner because then it takes them back to this main screen. So when the next person goes to pick up the iPad to do their project, they're back at this main screen where they can select what tool to use. And so um, again, keep in mind when the kids use those tools, there are other options that come up. Um, for the students to do as well. So, and one of the most powerful pieces of this is a lot of times they can record their voice over top of their project or what they've loaded. I hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching. Okay, so now for instance, let's say that you share a cart of iPads and the iPads go from maybe first grade to second grade and you want to make sure that your kids are able to post in in your Seesaw account, not say for instance the second graders account. So what students would do when your class is done with the iPads, if they come up to where it says class account and then they say sign out, are you sure you want to sign out? Say yes. Then what it does is it takes them back to that main screen. And then so the class, um, the next class that wants to use them can then just go back to I am a student. And then they can go back and go through the same process where they scan the QR code. And it will get them back into the class um, that they were in. So that way, if you, um, like I said, if you're sharing a cart of iPads, as long as your kids are logging out, you're not going to have the other kids' class posts on your, um, your screen. So um, if, you, if you sign them out at the end when they're done using your account, and then the next kid that comes in, they just go back to the I'm a student and then rescan the QR code. So it may be good for you to have that QR code posted maybe in a center where you're working on with working on um, Seesaw with them, 
or you can um, have it even stuck to their desks so they just get used to the process.